You've been told that you have one, maybe two weeks to get your face-to-face -face class online into Blackboard and ready to, to deliver to students for the rest of the semester. Well, this is a daunting task to be sure, but I'm going to show you how to set up a course from scratch and get you started in a very short period of time. Whether you're brand new to Blackboard or an intermediate user or perhaps even, even an advanced user, you will find something useful in this series of videos that I will use to guide you through this process of building a Blackboard course. Before we even start with Blackboard and all of its various tools, we first need to map out what our Blackboard course is going to look like. Now traditionally, um, your course may have the following menu options in it, and so we're going to take a look at this structure and see what we can do to make this a little bit simpler. So on the left here, we have a series of Blackboard menu items that would be in Blackboard, and this is a uh, order that has been set here at Austin Community College as being the required uh, elements in Blackboard that were, are used for online and hybrid courses. And so this is based on best practices but is also out there to make sure that our students are experiencing a similar online experience when they go from course to course. And so off to the left you can see the various types of menu items that we would include. Announcements, a start here section, that's meant to be an orientation. Course content, discussions, my grades, where students can check their grades. A calendar to track uh, assignments and due dates. Email and evaluations. Now of course, at this time you're not trying to build an entire online course. So we're going to streamline this a little bit. And to do that, we're going to eliminate a few things here. We're going to uh, uh, remove the start here, the email, and the evaluations. Now the reason for this is the start here section is meant to be an orientation for students in a new course. But you're trying to create this course halfway through, so they've already been oriented to the course. Instead, this is going to be a place that we're going to change to include materials that they're going to need for the rest of the semester. We're going to eliminate the email section and the evaluation sections because the email deals primarily with email through Blackboard. It's very likely you are communicating through your school email already. Evaluations are usually online evaluations for online and hybrid courses, and so we're going to remove that. Instead, we're going to replace the start here with a folder in class information. Uh, uh, we're going to include a syllabus, maybe a revised schedule here uh, for the rest of the course. And then for evaluations, we might have, instead of email and evaluations, we might have additional resources that might be necessary for the course. So for instance, my new menu that I'm going to set up for the rest of this semester is going to include announcements, a class information folder, a course content folder, where I'm going to have most of my materials, a discussion, a section for my grades, a calendar, a tool called Collaborate, which will be a good way of meeting your students online through Blackboard, and then perhaps other tools. You may find that you need other tools like digital content. Maybe your textbook came with digital content that they need to access, or there is something else that you have your students looking at that's outside of Blackboard. So as I'm looking at my menu, we're going to set this up in Blackboard. The first thing you should know is that some of these items are going to be Blackboard tools that are already built into Blackboard. I've highlighted those in blue here. Whereas the ones in yellow are going to be content folders. This is where most of your information is going to go in terms of the course. This is where you're going to include a syllabus, a, a schedule. In the course content, you're going to have your notes. You're going to have potentially lectures. Uh, that you might have uh, recorded. You'll have assignments, you'll have tests here. So the vast majority of the material you're going to put into Blackboard to deliver your course is going to happen in these course folders. So let's now go back to Blackboard and start setting these up. Before we even get to the Blackboard course that we're going to build for our students, we're going to come out here, or you're going to start here in the dashboard, and this dashboard lists the various courses that you are the instructor on. It'll list if 
uh, courses there if you're an instruct, uh, not only an instructor but also a student. And so uh, the first thing that a lot of faculty may not be aware of is that you can customize this dashboard for the courses that you see. So for instance, in this case, I can see my courses coming up for the summer of 2020, but they're kind of in the way at the moment, and I want to get rid of them. I don't want to delete the courses, of course, but I just don't want to see them. You can go up here to the module settings in this little wheel on the top right corner of this box, and you can click on it. Now, different uh, campuses or different colleges have this set up a little bit differently. So for instance, in this case, I can just click here to not see the summer 2020 courses and then it'll get rid of it but I can also as I scroll down I can also click on individual courses these are all courses that I teach or have taught and I just don't want to see them so I can make sure that they are not available now I'm going to make this one available the 2014 one because it's an old shell that I'm going to use for this demonstration and then of course I have to make sure that my uh, 2014 um, uh, window here or the, the spring 2014 is also available so now that I've done this modification I'm going to hit submit and now you can see that I only see the one course that I'm working with you'll also notice that it says not currently available um, there's a good chance that if you haven't used your course before and you're just now using it it'll say not currently available and so we're gonna have to take care of that once we go into the course so let's do that I'm gonna click on the course and this is what the students would see or you see when you first click into a course that is not built. And uh, you'll see two menu items here. Now I should point out that in red here, and this, this color can be different from uh, college to college, course to course, uh, and we're going to be able to change that. But in red is what the students would see. And then below, this is, these are the tools that you use as an instructor. So this is your, these are your course management tools. We will certainly be looking at both of these throughout these various chapters of training. So let's start by um, modifying this course and I should point out to you as well that if ever you are working on this course as an instructor and you want to see what the students see because sometimes it may not be, that may not be clear you can always go up here to the uh, eye looking icon here and enter student preview. When you do that it'll take you to this preview and this is exactly what the students would see at this time and so clearly there's nothing there and so there's nothing for them to be able to utilize in the course I'm going to exit the preview it's going to ask me if I want to delete the preview user and all data I'll go ahead and hit click on that one and continue to bring me back to where I was okay so I need to modify this course a little bit I'm going to go first of all to uh, teaching style and teaching style will allow me to modify this course at least its appearance so let's first change the menu style and that's fairly easy you can just go here and change the background color maybe I might want it blue I have to scroll down a little bit and I need to apply and then I can change the text color if I want as well so maybe I want it yellow hit apply and of course it previews you what it will look like I don't particularly like those colors but for a demonstration purposes I'm just going to leave those like that I may change it at some point for future uh, 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 video here so I am also going to go down here to the bottom and I can attach a banner now this seems perhaps a little bit um, of the bells and whistles that uh, Blackboard offers but honestly I always like to put a banner in my course because it allows me to have a unique um, page that the students come to that they know they're in this class and I've made a banner and there's lots of uh, tools out there to do this I use Photoshop to make a banner here and I'm going to uh, include that also don't forget to um, add a alt text here for that banner so I'm going to uh, add the biology 1407 class banner and I'm going to hit submit. So now you can see that my menu has changed and also when I go to announcements there's this nice banner that they see for this course that they can identify with this course. I'm also going to do another thing here I'm going to uh, if you'll recall from the menu setup that I talked about that tools is not in there I'm going to delete that and you can do that just click on the drop-down menu delete 
don't worry, you're not deleting anything in here. You're just dele deleting the menu item. I also need to take care of the fact that this course is currently not available. So I'm going to scroll down. I'm also going to undergo under customization. I'm going to go to properties. It's a simple click here, right here, where it says make course available. I click on yes. I'm going to hit submit. Now when I go outside of the course, you can see that the it is now available to uh, students. Let's go back into the course. Here we are. This is what the students will see when they now come back into the course and they will see announcements and they will see this banner. Now this, the banner is at the top of the announcements page. We'll talk more about announcements in um, a future lecture, in a short, in actually pretty soon, uh, and we'll actually talk about how to use all of these. But let's go ahead and set up this menu. As we discussed before, there's a Blackboard menu setup that I have planned for this Blackboard site and I'm going to go ahead and add those menu items. I'm going to start by adding the um, the contents folders, the class information and course contents. So I go up here to this little plus sign and I'm going to add a content area. Now there's lots of options here but a content area is a folder and I'm going to put my things in a folder. Certainly other people do different kinds of organization. This is one that I find is very common in Blackboard sites and certainly one that I use. So I'm going to add a content area. I'm going to name it. I'm going to name it class information. This is going to be the place where I'm going to put my syllabus and schedule. I'm going to make it available to the users. I'm going to hit submit. Now you can see there's a new menu item. I'm going to build my other areas as well. I'm going to add my course content and I'm going to start adding my other Blackboard tools. Now the Blackboard tools instead of content area so for instance my next one is going to be discussions. I need to go down here to tool link because this is a tool within Blackboard. I'm going to drag this type drop down menu. I'm going to find the discussions and I should be a little bit down here discussion board. I'm going to just type in the name that I want them to see discussion Let's say discussions and um, then I'm going to make it available to users. I'm going to hit submit. And I'm going to do this for all of my other ones. I have my next one was my grades. This is going to allow students to track their grades. And I scroll down. It's down here actually under my grades. Make it available. And I'll do this for the last two quickly. Calendar. And calendar. Now this is the calendar is going to allow us to track or the students to track um, due dates. And then finally I'm going to add a, a tool link to collaborate. And that one is under Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. I'm just going to call it Collaborate. I'm going to make it available. Now I can dress this up but again we're, we're doing this for time. We don't necessarily need to make this fancy. We need to make it functional first. So basically get this uh, website or this uh, Blackboard site up and running and then after you get that running and they get it, uh, the material to the students then you can start to make it uh, more aesthetically pleasing if you will. So we're going to end this video here. We've set up our menu. We have set up um, the kind of the, the menu colors here. We've also made this course available and we're ready to start the next phase of our course by starting to build the various elements and we're going to spend a little time with each one of these elements um, and in the menu and help you understand how to use them and then by the end of this you should be able to set up what you need in the course but also know how to run the various parts of it and that way you can also uh, uh, help your students with that as well. Hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you soon.